There are over 20 game modes in GimKit, so you can build a lot of variety into your students' experience while also giving them lots of opportunity for repetition with your questions or vocabulary terms. The games break down into two main categories. The first category is 2D modes, and these are your video game style experiences where students answer questions to power some aspect of the game, whether it's earning energy to be able to move around or earning bait to be able to fish with. The questions are integrated into the game so that the students have to answer them to be successful in competing in that video game style experience. The other mode is more of a classic experience, kind of similar to Kahoot, and then they have several twists on that. Um, we do have just the straight up classic, which looks a lot like Kahoot, and then um, a few other options. So you could do it in teams, you could do it with lots of money, you could set up a boss battle, which is one student versus the rest of the class. Hidden mode hides names and earned amounts until the end. Um, and drained mode, which is where you're constantly battling a leak of money. There are a couple games that don't quite fit into those two categories. Uh, the first is Draw That, which can be really fun. It's just a take on Pictionary, essentially, where students choose a word to draw, and then the rest of the class tries to guess what word they're drawing. And they get a few hints along the way, and they earn points for how fast they guess. And they can guess as much as they want until they get it right. The other game mode that doesn't quite fit those two main categories is This or That. And it's really just a neat um, platform for you to do all kinds of different things with. Um, it gives you two spaces, a red and a blue space, and students can move from that red or blue space um, depending on what you ask them. So you could poll the class and have them choose a side based on a poll question, or you could ask true or false questions, and they could move to the side that they think is correct. You can award points to students who are on a certain side. You can freeze everybody where they are. This is kind of a very flexible game mode that you could use for lots of different reasons. All right, so let's jump into one game mode. We'll choose Fishtopia for now, just so you can see how this all gets started. Uh, first, we have to set up our settings. We want um, the length of our game to be specific, how much bait per question is earned. So if you want students to answer more questions, uh, one bait per question is good. If you want them to focus more on the game and less on the questions, you could go all the way up to five bait. Um, you can control whether they can drop cash and fish for other students to pick up. Choose which class is playing, or you can leave that blank. Um, you can use a nickname generator if you don't want students typing in a name, and allow students to join in late. Alright, so now I am hosting a game session, and this is what it looks like. This is kind of the waiting lobby as students join the game. Um, if I chose a class before I launched this session, they would be um, able to jump right in. Otherwise, they just have to plug in this code, or they could possibly scan this QR code, but this is easier to go to gimkit.com slash join and plug in this code. Um, I've already had, I've done this for um, from another browser, just so you can see that there's a student in here. Um, as the host, I can start the game once all students are in here. I'm moving around right now using the arrows on my keyboard, and um, I can still click stuff with my mouse. I need to find this device to answer questions, and in this game mode, I'm trying to answer questions to earn bait that I can fish with, and then I just have to go around and find sources of water to fish, and then sell my fish for cash, and whoever has the most cash at the end of the game wins the game. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of strategy involved to try to find more rare fish to get more cash and power-ups and all that good stuff. So once I'm ready, I can click Start the Game, and it's going to jump right in. Um, and I'll go down here. I'm going to push the Enter button to answer these questions. So I can answer questions as much as I want. Each time I answer a question, I get a bait that I can go fish with, find a body of water, enter. and that's how this particular game works.